Hello Pisces, this is for Pisces singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs to see what you guys can do to um, attract your next love interest here. What can you guys do? Let's see how my Pisces are currently. Some of you are just getting over some heartache here and just trying to move forward, trying to get on with your lives, getting on with the get on is what you're doing here. Um, some of you could have been dealing with an Aquarius previously, um, but I think, you know, there, there are lots of things that you've learned that you are taking with you, okay? I think a lot of you are wanting to be more adventurous here. Um, some of you are probably going on a vacation where it's cold, maybe skiing. Somewhere in Colorado, maybe. Okay. Let's see what type of uh, person that you guys attracted in the past. Mm, somebody that was very defensive. Um, this is somebody that probably like kept an eye on you a lot. They wanted to knew, know every move that you made, you know. Maybe somebody that was very jealous, even, okay? Or maybe somebody that, you know, gave you a reason to be defensive, or you felt like that anyway. Um, felt like they weren't giving their all to the connection, but they required all of you, you know, Sagittarian energy there, okay? Let's see what you guys need to show more of um, with your personality. What does Pisces need to show more of here? Hmm. I think a willingness to, um, you know, willingness to share your time, your energy. Um, share more of yourself, you know. I think this is like, you know, really being there for people and Pisces are generally you know just that kind of person they are there for people very sensitive um, and and probably can get your feelings hurt very easily and I think you know this is you kind of staying in your true nature even when someone hurts you not allowing them to hurt you but not not allowing them to change you either okay Still being your your naturally giving receptive self here with the Six of Pentacles, you know, being there for people through thick and thin, um, giving and receiving equally, not expecting too much of someone, and not allowing someone to expect all of you, okay? Without them, you know, having this equal, um, this reciprocal relationship with you, okay? Let's see what you guys need to contribute. That's Taurus energy right there. Let's see what Pisces needs to contribute in their relationship. Hmm. Doing what you feel is right. Doing what you feel is necessary. Um, you know, not being judgmental. I think you guys probably um, would benefit from using more logic and, you know, maybe a little less emotion when it comes to making decisions, you know? This is Libra energy. Let's see what you guys need to accept about yourselves here. What does Pisces need to accept about themselves? Hmm. That you just naturally are drawn to people. And I feel like you guys, in general, like commitment. I think you give your all when you are committed to people. Um, and I think uh, sometimes you may go overboard with it. Okay. And what I mean by that is, you know, allowing somebody to, to give you what, what you are giving them. Very loving people. But allow somebody to treat you like a princess or or a prince, you know, and not so much you guys, you know, doing all of the the petting up or um, saying all of the I love yous and, you know, here. 
because I think a lot of you go all in even when somebody is not you know giving um, giving you what you give them you know let's see what kind of love you guys need here what kind of love does Pisces need hmm you need one where somebody is very emotionally mature, for sure, okay? Somebody that does not hide behind their feelings. Somebody that can say they're sorry if they've done something to offend you. Somebody that, that does not throw a rock and hide their hands like they've done nothing wrong, okay? I feel like you guys need somebody that is grounded and stable but you don't need somebody that is rigid somebody that also is very young at heart light-hearted but still is very grounded here with the page of Pentacles okay earth energy there hmm Let's see if you guys are ready for love. Let's see if my Pisces is ready for love. Oh, okay. I had a card that fell down on the floor. Um, that to me is like, it speaks volume. So I'm going to grab that real quick. Hang on, guys. Actually, it's two cards. Let's see what they are. Hmm. I don't really think that a lot of you are currently ready because here we have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, and we have the Seven of Swords, okay? So what I'm getting here is that, you know, somebody may have just walked out on you guys um, and they weren't nice when they did it okay maybe some of you were married to this person but there's somebody that lied um, lied to you deceived you that um, and I think you're like getting over that with this six of swords energy down here and I think you're just trying to you know you know just get yourself together so you can move forward so you can go on and receive <laughs> excuse me receive what you guys deserve um, but somebody did something kind of dirty to you is what I'm getting here um, maybe a Taurus maybe Aquarius energy does not have to be but um, somebody did a dirty deed here okay um, and also I feel like you guys are you just not ready you just not ready for another committed relationship you just not okay there's something that is still very much, um, you know, at the forefront of your of your brain here, you know, that you're still trying to get over. And I get that. Okay. So let's see how you guys will find love when you are ready. How will my Pisces find love? You'll know it. You'll know it. I feel like you guys, because you're very intuitive, um, I feel like <clears throat> there's somebody that you'll meet that may not even be seem like they're your type, but there, there will be this instant, um, I feel like, draw to them. Um, but this is somebody that's going to love you. They're going to reciprocate. They will tell you that they love you. They will tell you what's going on, what's wrong, what you guys need to fix. I feel like this person will, um, they will be, they will compromise. You will have strong chemistry with this person. Um, that's cancer energy there. Doesn't have to be a cancer, but we're getting ready to see what kind of attributes your next love interest should have. Let's see what attributes Pisces love interest should have. Pisces. Hmm. 
They need to be confident. They need to be supportive. Um, they need to be able to stand on their own. Okay. Um, and I think this person needs to be financially secure. Um, and attractive. Sure of themselves here. Okay. Not, you know, needing you to like build them up. Okay. Let's see what else. And they need to be willing to work with you. They need to be willing to compromise here. I'm getting strong, um, you know, a strong need for you to have a partner that is willing to compromise with you. Um, that's needing to, you know, be able to stand on their own. Uh, that does not expect things from you that they're not willing to give is what I'm getting here. Okay. So we have Virgo here. Um, we have Capricorn energy here. So, and we have Cancer. So maybe, you know, somebody with um, Virgo, Capricorn energy that has maybe um, Cancer in their chart somewhere. Or even Libra is what I'm getting here. Okay. That may be good for you guys. Um, my Pisces friends. So that is what I have for you guys. And good luck.